just got this new boyfriend. They were literally dating for three days and they wanted to get matching tattoos because they thought they were soulmates. I'm not making this up. They actually wanted to get matching tattoos and I was like, don't do it. I think that maybe I'm biased because I don't have any tattoos, but I've seen a lot of bad ones. So today we're gonna look at some bad ones. We're gonna talk about how bad they are and we're not gonna make bad decisions that last the rest of our lives. My brother wanted to show me his new tattoo and here we have a man scanning a barcode and the barcode actually says 254 Oreo cookies. This is a smart tattoo and I would actually get this tattoo, but don't barcodes like only last a while? Do people still use barcodes? Yeah, they do. I obviously don't do my own grocery shopping. No, but like barco barcodes change, right? Like it could be Oreo cookies today, but tomorrow could be like herpes cream. You don't know. Tomorrow it could be zit cream, wart cream, band-aids, preparation H, the stuff you rub in your butt when you've got a... Wait, I don't know what that's used for. Why do barcodes when you could do receipts? This guy went to McDonald's, he ordered the place down. This looks like a $200 bill and he got a tattoo of it. I find the past two tattoos we did to be very funny and I'm okay with funny tattoos. I just don't like the ones that are like, never don't give up or like, you know, the tramp stamp or like the uh, the Chinese symbols. If you're Chinese, that's great. Or if it like really means something to you, that's great. I'm just kind of doing damage control because I know a lot of people probably have Chinese symbols. I hate them. But if you like it, it's your tattoo and it's your body. And I don't have a tattoo because I'm a basic bitch who is too afraid to do anything permanent. So I'm sorry if you feel judged. You can take that out on me in the comments if you want. McDonald's receipts though. Pretty cool. Here we have the hardcore hipster hippie with the avocado skull. Was that intense enough for you? The avocado skull! It's an avocado skull! This was expensive. It looks like a good tattoo. It looks like the artist takes himself seriously. I don't know why they do purple around it because it does kind of look like a bruise, but it's a nice one. It's a healthy one. It's nutritious, high in fiber. Lots of good healthy fats in there. I'd like you to find me another tattoo that has this many omega-3s. Is that a skull though, or did I not look at it right? It looks like an angry avocado. Maybe this is an avocado that the guy had. And he was like, you know what? That's an angry looking avocado. That's kind of badass. Maybe I should eat healthier while being a badass. You can be a badass and have avocado toast. No, you can't. I. If you get avocado toast, actually it's good. Here we have bald Britney Spears. It's iconic. It certainly is. I like the face she's making. She's like, Err. she's not trying to be attractive. She, she doesn't care anymore. And that's what this tattoo says. It says, I don't care. Just like Britney didn't care. She's bald, she's making an unflattering face and I put it on myself, cause why not? Arguably, I care less than she did at the time when she shaved her head. I just realized that I've got this shaved head here. Let's cover that up. People who shave their heads are dumb. Yeah, I mean, it's raw, it's real. Why are you standing like that? I don't know. I don't know. Do I look dumb? Do I look like a cat? Like, do I look like I'm trying too hard? You look like you're in a Levi's commercial. Just in the wilderness and just like... Yeah, don't shave your heads, kids. Wear Levi's. In the woods. People need to stop getting tattoos like this. Chicken noodle soup. What if this person thought it said like, love, summer, and travel? Like, what if she thought it said something like, eat, love, laugh? Wait, isn't it live, love, laugh? Not eat, love, laugh. It shows what I know. Chicken noodle soup. I mean, at least it's funny, right? This tattoo is fresh too, like she just got it. It's huge. I like big tattoos. I really don't like when people get like the tiniest little tattoos. Like I went to high school with these girls who got like the tiniest little things just so they could be like, I have a tattoo. And like when they waved it around, it just looked like a mole or something. This person went in with their chicken noodle soup and it's huge. This person doesn't have to know the language. They just walk in, they're like, Three of these in here, all right? It's coming out of here. Maybe a little, you know. Believe in yourself and never lose hoop. <laughs> never lose hoop. I lost my hoop. My house formerly uh, is a place where people shot porn and there was like hula hoops and I lost all of the hoops. This person will never lose it because it's written on their arms. Maybe they're a basketball player, they never lose hoop. And then they're just saving up to get and Spalding for the basketball. But this has to be a joke because the writing is so tacky and there's not one typo, but two. It looks pretty, no, it can't be real. It really looks like it's real because it's like kind of irritated around the arm and it's kind of elevated, like where the end does that horrible curl. Maybe it's a joke 
And if it's a joke, I respect that. That's sweet. If it's serious though, like I, I feel bad for this person. Like they were trying to do something inspirational. It's like people who tweet inspirational stuff every day. You go like, good for you. Why don't you write it on your wall? I don't care, bitch. I just hope they never lost their hoop. I'm never gonna lose hoop. You have nothing if you don't have hoop. I've been living in this previous porn factory for a year now and I never lost hoop. And you shouldn't either. Rent here is really expensive, but I just can't- I can't lose hoop! <laughs> okay, this is- <laughs> I'm mad about this next one because this tattoo probably cost more than the actual shoe itself. They might have raised the price actually. Back when I was a spring chicken, it was $20 for a pair of Converse. This foot tattoo probably costs like, what, 300 bucks? That's really, it's supremely detailed. The laces have shadows on them. It's those little rings, like that little, this little ring on the guy's like foot here, this one right here, this little ring here, it looks like a real ring. Like I thought he glued that on just to be like, huh, <laughs> can't tell if it's a shoe, can ya? Even though my toes are sticking out. Is this a bad tattoo? I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. It's kind of funny. When you're too lazy to wear socks, you can just wear, I mean, you'll, your foot will still get cold, but in spirit, you'll be warm. From the inflammation from the tattoo, you'll always be warm. This girl here was like, I just want like that, that frozen yogurt that I get, like that chocolate frozen yogurt. I want to get it on my back. And I want there to be like butterflies and I want there to be like mist. Like I want it to be like a fine, I want this to be some like Final Fantasy shit. And then she actually got a piece of shit on her back. It looks stinky. It really does. They really captured the essence of the stink. She looks like, I, I mean, I can tell from the side of her face, I can tell from her nose that she's unhappy. Wait, that sounds like an insult. I didn't mean it like that. She, it just looks like, like she's kind of just doing like a, look what I did to myself. Look what I did to myself. <laughs> I mean, I didn't do it, but someone did and it's on me and, have you ever had laser tattoo removal? This shit hurts. I, I went, I wanted a tattoo, not a tapoo. So you know how Kat Von D has the very tasteful like stars down here? Why stop there? Just like put them everywhere. Just like let them just kind of spread, make it kind of look like you've got a star infection. I want a tattoo of a star infection. Can I just get a star infection really quick? Why would she, why would she let someone take a picture of her when she's like on the phone, like looking disappointed? Like, I don't think that this was a good idea. One of those stars like looks like it was stuck on and it's making me nervous. I think it's just her expression. She just looks so unhappy with it. Maybe if she was smiling, I'd be like, oh, this is a great tattoo, but I think there's too many. I was saying earlier that I like big tattoos, but I don't like when there's a bunch of little ones and they're just, it looks like they're proliferating across the face and it just looks like an explosion of, I prefer the poo tattoo over this one. I mean, I like how some of them are filled in and some of them aren't. And by I like that, I mean, I hate it. I just didn't know how to, I didn't know how to describe it. I'm really disappointed in whoever got this. It's great to like love your favorite band, but it looks like the lead singer's like, I wanna be a minority. And like, but the other two were, uh, the guy the guy on this side is like, ha, ha, and the other guy is just like, I wish I wasn't in this tattoo. So like, I, I understand like using the cloud as like a unifying thing that all the guys are coming out of, but Mr. Armstrong like ends and then the cloud is here. Like there's it's just, it doesn't look like this was thought out. It looks like, by the looks of the blonde guy, the guy who looks very serious, like it looks like this is a talented tattoo artist, so maybe the person who got this was like, yeah, no, I want Mr. Armstrong. I don't think he calls him Mr. Armstrong. I want Mr. Armstrong to like, float. And I want this guy to be like, we're in a tattoo. And I want this guy to be like, mm. I love my favorite bands, but I would never get a tattoo of them. Actually, I wanted to get a tattoo of lyrics, like Radiohead ones. I'm really glad I didn't. But it was gonna be like, We all went to heaven in a little rowboat. Oh my god, oh, that would have been so bad. Would have been everywhere. We got Becky in the corner, too. Green Day featuring Becky on my back. Oh, I feel bad for him. I hope he likes his tattoo. I feel even worse for Becky. Oh! I, I think I just don't like nipples, I don't know. So unless I'm mistaken, this is a handicap sign and the man is using a nipple as the seat. The nipple definitely looks like somewhere you could sit. Definitely looks like it's a little cold in there. Maybe he's a little irritated. I don't know. I just, 
I just don't see how this... <laughs> I just don't see how, like, someone thought, like, this is an attractive idea. I know that, like, getting a tattoo isn't about, like, looking cool, but, like, I don't- I don't understand- I don't understand the thought behind it. And that's okay, I guess. I, it's his tattoo. It's not my tattoo. I, why, though? Why? I just want to know why. So this- uh, this particular tattoo is in the area known as the Tramp Stamp region. The lower back. I didn't coin the term tramp stamp, but I think it's very- I, I like it. It's succinct. I, I personally would have got a tramp stamp if my parents let me when I was little, and if they did, oh, my life would be over. But they didn't. This person's got some handlebars on their love handles. They're like, I got a set of handlebars on my love handles. What more do you want? Grab these babies and let's go. I like the color. I like the blue color on that person's complexion. Like, it's pretty, but... It just seems- it seems like a sexual tattoo in a way, even though handlebars from a bicycle don't seem very sexual. Now this is a tattoo I can get behind. MEAT! And there's just different kinds of meat everywhere, and there's a smiling ham, and it's super happy, and there's like- I love the, uh, the sausages, like the sausage line. I love the sausage links. I just think they- they look so fun. I've always thought they looked like really beautiful. Is that weird? Like I think about the sausage links and the Aristocats, I think about Homer Simpson, like, running away from dogs and then eating the sausage links instead of giving it to the dogs so that the dogs would be distracted. I, I think it's a really- I think this is a beautiful tattoo. I think it was well done. Um, I like it. And it's, it's also in the tramp stamp, uh, region. I think that I- if given the choice of the handlebars in this, I would gladly get this. And I wouldn't regret it. It's sick. Apparently this tattoo was on a show called Just Tattoo of Us. It's a show about two people trying to ruin each other's lives by giving each other really bad tattoos. But if I got this, if I got that, I'd be like, yo, that's pretty cool. A lot of people get like tattoos that are just like cuss words or like tramp. If I just got like meat, I'd be like, fine. I don't really have much meat back here anyway, so I might as well tattoo a little. If this guy got rejected, I don't know what to say, Nina. Will you marry me? Hopefully they talked about it first. Hopefully him and Nina had a nice conversation over dinner and he said like, I'm gonna get a tattoo, but then he would be spoiling it. What if this guy got rejected? What if that's why there's a photo of it? Oh, he also spelled Mary wrong. Oh boy. If you got a tattoo saying, will you marry me? And you spelled Mary wrong, I'd have to say no. Cause he couldn't, like, make me happy. <laughs> Get it? Oh my goodness. It wouldn't be a merry day, okay? This is one of those hardcore face tattoos. It says burr on it. It's got some nice ice cream. Lightning bolts? Can't forget the lightning bolts. It's hardcore. I could make this video ten times more hardcore by adding lightning bolts. <laughs> it's is my life. Basically, like, if you take out, like, <laughs> the punctuation and says, it is, is my life by John Bovey. Okay, this has got to be a joke. It's got to be a joke. Because it's Bon Jovi and, you know, John Bovey. It's got to be, it's a joke. Yeah, it's a joke. Good joke. Good for you. At first I was like, okay, what's wrong with a tattoo of a lobster? But the lobster is like pinching the guy's nipple and that's where, that's where we get uncomfortable. That's where we break up. That's where we end things. I just don't like nipples. I don't like guy nipples. They're gross. They're way too small. And when they're way too big, they're way- they're- You just can't win. Why buy Nikes when you can just get a nice little Nike swoosh on your foot? It's a good swoosh. Looks pretty accurate. Nike foot. It wasn't made in a sweatshop. It's just my foot. Nobody suffered for the making of this swoosh. Oh! Is that an onion? Is that an onion? In your armpit. <laughs> it would be kind of funny to have like an onion in your armpit and be like, Hey, smell this! And there's just an onion there. Nobody likes to smell that. It'll make you cry, haha. <laughs> that would be very painful. Especially because you'd have to like wax your armpit before getting the armpit onion. And then when your hair grew out, you'd have a hairy onion. That stinks. It's just horrible. Now this, however, this however is not something that I support. The old nose ninja turtle. Terry thinks this is face paint, and if that is, then that's really cute and clever, but like, if that's a tattoo, your nose is like, it's just like, it's a central part of your face. Imagine if I just had a 
Imagine if I had a thing on my face here. The Ninja Turtle is really cute. Like the eyes are so cute, but like, I don't like it. I'm just like trying to like, these tattoos are so tragic that I'm trying to like picture them being like, I don't care what this bitch on this video thinks. I love my tattoo. This man loves his tattoo so much that he cut, he cut his vest and his sweater so that everyone could see Jesus. So you could see Jesus where you least suspect it. He's always watching. This reminds me of when I wore eyeshadow for the first time and I walked around like, hey guys, how you doing? And like, I just never opened my eyes because I wanted people to see my eyeshadow. This is a whole nother level though, actually cutting your clothes so people can see Jesus. It's cute though. Imagine being a robber and sneaking up behind this guy at an ATM and seeing Jesus looking at you through his back and just being like, oh, I, <sighs> okay, I'll get a job. Wait a minute, that's not Jesus. <laughs> Upon further inspection, and by that I mean looking at it very closely, that's not Jesus. That's John Lennon, because Jesus doesn't wear glasses. So I guess if you're the robber walking up to the guy behind the ATM, you'd hear Beatles music playing and be like, oh, I can't rob this guy. Imagine no possession. I wonder if you can. No need for greed or hunger. A brotherhood of man. And then you just wouldn't rob him. That's nice. This is actually kind of clever. This guy is slam dunking his own mole. And I like how, I like how the guy dunking is just slightly out of shape. Like it's probably like this guy's body. I think that's really cute. I don't like the sun underneath. I, I really like the slam dunking of the mole. I kind of want you to get one of those. Just gotta get a little bit more bald. No, you got one on your face. <laughs> okay, I don't like this at all. It actually looks like this man has little arms. Like he's like a little baby controlling an entire body. This looks so good that I wanna say it's real. It's making me nervous though. It's a really good idea. I like the optical illusion. I don't think it looks good though, at all. Cause it makes it look like he has little baby arms. Yeah, I feel like if you like went home with someone and you took your shirt off, it would be over as soon as they realize you're being controlled by a baby head. So my good mate Davio hooked me up with this beauty yesterday. Yeah, I don't know what accent I was doing there. So my good mate Davio hooked me up with this beauty yesterday. Hard to believe he's only been tattooing for two weeks. I actually really like this tattoo. Like, I think it looks dope. I think it looks like cubism. This looks like Picasso did it. It doesn't even look like a bad job. I know this is supposed to be a joke, but like, it's pretty good. I like it. I like how the eyes aren't lined up. Like, it, it looks like, uh, it looks like an intentional mess. What's embarrassing is when it looks like an unintentional mess, but I think this one's a good example of wrong gone right. I love this tattoo. The only thing I hate about it is the placement. I would have got it where chicken noodle soup got hers and made it a bit smaller. I think